Hi guys, welcome back to another best Mac apps episode. Today we'll be showing you 5 best Mac apps for October 2017. These apps are simple but effective and convenient to use. So without further ado, let's get started. The first app on the list is called News. Here. What this app does is it allows you to live stream any song on YouTube for free directly from your menu bar here. So you can listen to any YouTube song for free. All you have to do is just click on the search here. You can type the name of the singer or could be the name of the song. If you search for the name of the singers, usually it, it would show all the songs sung by that particular singer. Let me show you an example. If I search for the song called Shape of You, here, it search very quick. You can see it show you that song and also it can be the covers sung by other people of the same song that you can listen to because they also posted that on YouTube. If you search for the name of the person, let's say Ed Sheeran. You see, if you search for the name of the singer, it will show all the songs sung by Ed Sheeran. Like in this case, I search for him. So all songs sung by him will be shown here in fact all songs posted on youtube sung by ed sharon it will be shown here you can listen to all of them and it's much better than you go to the youtube website to watch because with this app you can listen to music and you can do anything else you can do your work while still listening to the music let me show you example here Okay, like that. And also you can repeat that song as well. So you listen to it and you like it, you can repeat it as well by clicking here. It will repeat the song for you. Just like you're using a normal music player app, listening to offline music. So it's the same thing. But with this app, it's very cool. You can repeat any song on YouTube for you very easily. Just click here, it will repeat. After it finishes the song, it will repeat. In case like you want to see the video as well, you can click here. So it will show you the video, but if you only want to listen to the music, you don't have to click on this. You can also create playlists to add your favorite songs from YouTube in one place, so that whenever you want to listen to those, it will be in your playlist. To do so, you can click like here, and you click create playlist. But one thing to be noted here, you cannot create playlist until you sign in your Google account. If I create it here, let's say test it, and click create. You see, say failure. So before you can create a playlist, make sure you sign in first. If not, it won't allow you to create playlist. So just click sign in. So here, done. Now you click create playlist again. New playlist. Let's say add Sharon. Click create. Now it's a success. Now you can add any other songs into it, like this song you want to add, just click there and then you click on the playlist, it will add this song to the playlist. Try another one, here, add it. And then you want to play your playlist, just go to playlist, and here, so you click here, you will see all the songs you added, and you can start playing it, but click here, and it will play one by one, it's really cool. And also, if you want to see more settings, you go to settings here, and you can see that at the top it says show notifications when song changes. When I play a song, you will see a pop-up box show the title of the song. So if you think that is annoying, you can just turn this off, it won't show that. And also, you can let it run from startup as well. When you turn on the computer, you want this app to run automatically. You turn this on, start the app when logged in. And another cool thing here is the shortcut settings. Instead of clicking play here, you can just use the shortcut key on your keyboard. So to play and pause, you click option command P. And you click it again, it will pause. So play and pause, you just click that option command P and to skip to the next track you click option command forward arrow you go back you click option command backward arrow to repeat the song you click option command or and if you want to see the video of that song being played so usually you click here to see the, the video but you can also click the shortcut it's faster option command S and to see the widget this widget click option command W and let me show you example here let's see I will play my playlist song here like this, you see here, it shows option command forward, it would skip and it show you again here when the song changes. Go back, see, like that, show the video, to pause video, option command P, 
like this you don't have to look at it as well you just let it high like that you click option command p I lost my shoe. see it's really cool this is really like a great replacement to spotify app for spotify you have to pay to use its service but this one you don't have to pay you just listen to any songs on youtube for free what you have to do is just buy this app and it's done so this is app number one let's move on to app number two app number two is called pdf editor 6 pro here this is one of the best PDS editor apps for Mac computers. What this app does is it allows you to edit PDF files into the way you want them to be. For example, you can delete texts from a PDF by clicking here, edit PDF. You can delete, you can add, you can cut, copy, or edit text, or even images or other objects in a PDF file that you want to edit. You can also combine two or more PDF files together by using this app as well. It's very fast and easy, and it just works perfectly. You can also convert a PDF file into other formats like Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, or Pages, or Image, or EPUB, or Text, or HTML as well if you click here and you can also add your signature or stamp or password to the PDF file as well let me show you an example of the first one here click here to edit the PDF file you find a PDF file that you want to edit let's say I have this one open it so these paths you can change to anything else so you can delete this and add more to it and done you can change the font you can delete this part if you want to like here like this delete it's gone you can add image to it for example here let's find some image i want to add this you can see so you can add image to your pdf file very easily you can change text you can change the color of the text as well so you can select this you can change the color as you can see so it's really easy with this app it just work like magic for you you can crop you can see here this is what you can do at the top here add text you can add another text you can add a background you can add footer or header you can add watermark as well this is added PDF you can combine PDF as well like I said click on combine here like sometimes when you apply for a job on the internet or something they ask you to send just one single file to them but for example you have four or five different PDF files with this app you can just combine those to be just one single file and also sometimes you apply for scholarship as well they just only allow you to attach only one file but you have like five different pdf files so with this app you can combine those files together as one and send to them so to combine the files just click here the plus sign or you can click here so let's say click here so i have this two here and i have another one down here so three of these i want to combine together click open so these will be combined you can have the option to choose the original size or you can change the size for me i would leave it to be original size and you click combine and it asks you where you want to save i just want to save the desktop to show you leave it like that you can change the name click saved done i click my desktop here the file let's open it so you can see this is the first one and then they combine this one into it and then they have these so it just works perfectly it's really cool if you buy the adobe acrobat it would cost more money but when you buy this it's cheaper let's see the price of this together so it's 100 dollars for for one single license let's see the price of acrobat so as you can see the price of acrobat pro for mac it costs 179.95 so 180 dollars it's 80 dollars more expensive than this app that i show you and it functions the same to me i think this one provides more features than the adobe acrobat and also you can convert here you can see you can convert from pdf file to any other file like let's say i have this i want to convert click open here now you can convert to word excel powerpoint so i just say i want to convert it to word if you want to convert click convert here so i say convert to desktop click saved success here it show you the word file double click to see it here it may have some errors like this one at the bottom is the footer but most of the text are fine you spend less time to edit it if you convert with this most of the text are fine only a little bit problem with the footer here but the other parts are fine so yeah i think this app is really good you can also add the signature into it let's say i have this 
I want to add signature so to add a signature you click on comment and click on more here and see signature or stamp let's say I want to add signature so to add a new signature you click plus here and you have choices to add signature by creating from a mouse draw or create from a camera which means like you have a signature already you want it to take picture of your signature and then you can create it from image or you just type it let's say I want to create from mouse draw click here now we just draw it let's just let's say this is the signature click done now you can add that here you can change the size done you want to add a stamp click more here click stamp now you want to say this is approve click here approve so you can add stamp as well if you want to add password to this document to protect it click protect password and then you click encrypt with password so tick here, you type in the password, and confirm, click done, that's it. So with this app, it's just really awesome. I mean, you can do lots of things with it, especially you want to edit any PDF files. You can use this, it's really cool. This is app number two. Let's move on to app number three. App number three is called Phone Clean here. So what this app does is, as its name suggests, it allows you to clean your iOS devices to remove junk files or catches on your iOS device to get back some free storage. So right now it requires me to plug in my iOS device. I just plug it in. Now, you see here they say you can have quick clean here just to clean the user catches, photos, catches, large and old files. You can also it help you to clean the Safari junk or private clean or system clean or erase clean sometimes you want to erase photos or contacts or histories and so on from your device before you sell it you can either restore it or just go to this app to erase those files easily without you having to restore it and with toolbox you can have more features here let me show you the first one here quick clean so you click clean here it start cleaning done you can see 14.33 megabytes ready for safe cleanup. You can review that first before you decide to delete. So these are things that they delete. And if you go to large and old file, they say found this need review. They do not select this for you. They just let you decide by yourself. But any file you want to delete, like this one, I think you want to delete it. It just show you the file that consume a lot of space, like this one as well. We can delete it too by selecting it it will delete for you go back and now they have 3.69 gigabytes ready for safe cleanup you just click clean here you start cleaning done now you say quick clean complete you have reclaimed 3.7 gigabyte free space on your iphone you see this is really cool you can remove any unwanted junks or catches from your phone quickly by using this app to remove this is app number three let's move on to app number four app number four is called air server here when you open the app this message will pop up ask you do you want the application air server dot module to accept incoming network connections you just click allow and you're done so what this app does is it allows you to airplay your iOS devices to your Mac screen the best thing about this app is that it not only supports iOS devices but also Android or PC devices as well which means whatever you are doing on your iOS device or Android device you can now see it on your Mac bigger screen what you need is just only make sure that your Mac and your iOS device or your Android device are connected to the same Wi-Fi and you don't need the cable as long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi you're good to go just run this app like I'm running it now so right now I will airplay my iPad screen to my MacBook so to airplay it's easy you just swipe up and here it says screen mirroring click on that you can see the same MacBook Pro click on it and done so whatever on my iPad it's also on my MacBook screen I can also watch YouTube video. Let's say watch this one. You can also do some changes here to the preferences. 
here you, you can have the choices to choose resolution like retina display high quality or 1080p or even project to 1600 by 1200 we click that let's see again As you can see it's a airplane in full screen it's just like when you have videos or movies on your iPhone or iPad you can just mirror to play on your MacBook or iMac you have an iMac like 27 inches you can watch on that too with your family as well so it's kind of cool to do that and another great thing is when you airplay the sound it will come out of your Mac not come out of your iPad and again you can also mirror the Android device if you have to play on your Mac okay this is app number 4 Let's move on to app number 5. App number 5 is called Snap Hill. Here. So what this app does is it allows you to quickly remove objects and people from your photos. With this app, you don't have to be knowledgeable in photo editing software like Photoshop or Pixel. You just highlight the areas that you want to be deleted from the photo. The app will do the rest of the work for you. It is magically easy. Let me show you an example here. Let's click load image here. So you choose the image that you want to remove anything to make it more beautiful. Let's find something here. Let's say I have this photo here. Okay. So let's say I have the lake here, the trees, both sides. But I have some trees here that I don't want it to be there. So what you have to do is just click on the highlight tool. And then you can set this up to be small big in diameter. You see here, if I like this, you see, it's bigger and bigger. You want to be smaller you just do that it will become smaller bigger depends on your need now i want this area this tree to be removed from the picture so i highlight it like that okay and then usually there are three choices that you can choose they have twister shape shift worm hole and the precision they have norm high and highest i will choose the highest and you can try to see which one fit better look more natural I would try the shape shift first. If you still have some problem, like you see it's not natural enough, you can change the twister or worm hole. So I try with the middle one first. Click erase. Okay, it's gone. It's just magically gone. It's really cool. You don't have to know how to use Photoshop. Let's try with another image. Let's say I have a new file. Okay, let's say I have this one. Don't save. Now let's say I want to remove the boat. So the same thing, you just highlight the boat like that and then you click erase and while waiting you can see they also show you this amazing fact now it's gone, the boat's gone so with this app it's just really cool you can delete any image any part of the photo that you don't want it to be there we can delete it easily okay that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below of your thoughts and subscribe for more useful video in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video